is intended for responsible adults only. We advocate for the repeal of marijuana prohibition for adults. We discuss the science, culture, and controversy about America's marijuana laws. We do not advocate or encourage any illegal activity and advise all listeners to learn their state and federal marijuana laws by visiting normal.org, N-O-R-M-L dot org. Opinions and claims made by guests and advertisers of Normal Show Live are their own and do not necessarily reflect the philosophy and policies of Normal. Listener discretion is advised. You take a seed, you plant it, you grow it, you dry it, you roll it, you smoke it. You take a seed, you plant it, you grow it, you dry it, you roll it, you smoke it, and it goes down smooth. Spanning the continent to bring you the truth about cannabis and marijuana law reform. I smoke pot and I like it a lot. From the promise of legalization. Uh, and I think we need to rethink and recriminalize our marijuana laws. To the agony of prohibition. One major responsibility is to encourage people to use less drugs. The National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws presents... Normal Show Live, Marijuana Nation. Now, here's your host, Normal's Outreach Coordinator, Radical Russ Belleville. Hey everybody, Radical Russ here in Los Angeles. Specifically, uh, we are near the little Tokyo. You can kind of see over my shoulder there what's happening. And, uh, move around this way, you can see downtown Los Angeles in the background. But what we have happened on here at the corner of San Pedro and 3rd Street is what appears to be a uh, head shop wholesale row. And as we go by, all of these shops are all just massive packs and bongs and boxes and just everything you could possibly want. Cannabis carry, have you seen anything like this before? No, wholesaler. It's, it's like it's, Costco. It's for Costco that. for weed. It's Costco Canadian. for paraphernalia. Uh, everything in here, just every cheap ass Chinese glass you've ever seen. Oh, yeah, really nice glass pieces. Yeah. Almost the yeah. wholesale, price. Wholesale, wholesale distribution here, so just going through. You can see just all these shops, and there's just door after door of shops. Now, this guy's got some like NFL stuff too, but again, mostly smoke related stuff is the big bags smoke related hookah stuff bob marley prints more glass on the walls you say shop What's after glass, shop yo? yeah just big old bins of glass there as you can see there's wall after wall after wall after wall some t-shirts but yeah all wholesale <laughs> Wholesale price of all that glass, John to John spends money on. No kidding. Become a wholesaler. Yeah. Become a wholesaler. Nice big bag too. But yeah, this entire There's block, more. entire block of nothing but wholesale stuff. have a tax ID number two shop here and get these amazing prices. Yeah. But you own a store or whatnot. I see. I think, so technically, uh, I think Commerce Law would allow you to use your Social Security number as a tax ID number. It's also, uh, I don't know if these guys would take it as one, but the federal yeah. government will take it as one. Yeah, these shops, just shop after shop of hookahs and glass. So that was fun. I think that concludes our tour. No, no, Come no. On. There's just a little bit more. There's a hat shop. Okay, so there's a hat shop got in the way of all the hookahs and glasses. Oh, there's there's another, another one, yeah. There's a glass. It hasn't got its doors open yet. There's a new one that's opening up. <laughs> haven't got their doors open Next yet. Next to the one that's already open. They Next to the one that's already up. open. Okay. And then finally, I love this. As we get to the very end, okay. Now there's more glass, glass, more glass, right? Beautiful. And then as we get to the very end. What about the children? Go on. What about, what about the children? The children? About the there's, a, children? there's a child right there. There's a child right there who can see all this glass. Oh no! And then back to glass. <laughs> salvia. Amazing. They're selling salvia. They're selling. So good job, cannabis industry, uh, live and well. And so uh, uh, Steve Chutanich's backyard. Carmen. No? Carmen. 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 Steve Cooley, Carmen Chutanich. Hey, Carol. Radical West Cannabis Carry from uh, Little Tokyo. We're we'll back after this. <laughs> Weedmaps.com. I'm Radical Russ from Normal. 
In my job as outreach coordinator, I travel every month, and when I'm on the road, I need a fast, accurate way to find the medical marijuana dispensaries in the area. So I turn to WeedMaps.com. WeedMaps.com has the best dispensary locator online or on your mobile device. Search by zip code or let WeedMaps find you, and in seconds you'll have the addresses, phone numbers, and customer service reviews for the medical marijuana dispensaries in the local area. WeedMaps.com also has a section devoted to helping you find a doctor who understands and recommends medical marijuana under your state's law. You can even check prices on the Medical Marijuana Stock Exchange. Coming soon, you'll even be able to find the listings of normal attorneys and chapters, local head shops and grow shops, and the best weed-friendly businesses. WeedMaps.com has the information you need to be an informed cannabis consumer. Visit WeedMaps.com today, a proud sponsor of the Normal Network. Coleco joining us here on camera two. As soon as I get that moved in, there he is. Wiz hey, Coleco. Got to turn that down a little bit. We're getting crazy, but happy 420, Wiz. Hey, happy 420, everybody. Uh, we got uh, NorCal Kid over there at the uh, at the merchandise table. She's taking care of people. Doing a great job. But uh, I thought we should celebrate some 420. We should. I was uh, just trying to empty this bowl so that I could load it again. <laughs> well, here, I'll switch off to you. There goes Wiz Coleco. And uh, tripod cam that you can see the folks that are out there celebrating 420 at the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. Give you a little bit of a zoom. The place is packed. We are up on the stairs. Uh, there's still a huge line to get in. Yeah, there's, yeah, still at 420, there's a huge line to get in. You can see this just, and, and this goes both ways. You can't really, we can't pan all the way across, but we're kind of up on this second level. Uh, this second level I'm panning over to. Uh, goes all the way over there. The nonprofit booths are over that away, uh, so you'll see all the nonprofits. The Orange County Normals over there, and so on. Uh, and then the area that's down the stairs there, this is the kind of the thoroughfare where people can go to the right. Uh, they'll have all the food carts. To the left is the 215 area. Everybody's medicating a bunch of vendors in there. As I pan there left, uh, right to the other side of this column. Uh, Bobby Tuna is all set up. Uh, the Black Tuna, Robert Platshorn, uh, the star of Square Grouper, the uh, author of the Black Tuna Diaries. You know him, you and love him. And a world class up. gentleman. And a world class gentleman. A absolutely true. So happy 420 to those of you that are watching our coverage. You can also catch the panels that are going on uh, at. The weed. Oh, the weed. There we go. <laughs> we have weed. Mahalo, people. Mahalo. This was uh, donated to us. At from very, very nice people that come by and say hi to us. You know, it's 62 degrees here in LA. Yeah, and I mean- breezy, I, it's it, a little cold. <laughs> but but the sun is still shining, that's the great part. You know, you get you still get that sunshine when you're not hot. And uh, here from Portland, I mean, I feel right at home. We're, we're, we're getting uh, NorCal Kid in the shot here. Say what's up. Because they're saying 420, they're saying happy 420 to everyone, so. Happy 420. Have, how's the merchandise sales, how's the raffle sales? I'm sorry? How, how goes the raffle sales, how does the merch? Actually, you know, the, the sales are going well because the stakes are really good right now. Uh, actually, everybody's just excited that they're going to be entered in the raffles tomorrow as well. Right. That well, they have multiple opportunities to win different prize packs. The earlier you enter, the more times you chances you get to win. And speaking of that, it's time for our next raffle, so I was going to have you grab, grab the jar. Absolutely. I'd be happy Let's to. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Norcal Kid down here from the Bay Area. All right, so shake them up and pick one. Oh, this is huge, it's suspenseful. The 420 raffle, this one is for the- uh, Kind. The Kind, the Kind prize pack. Now in the Kind prize pack, you are getting a gold leaf normal pin, you're getting a normal sticker, you're getting six normal and normal Solive buttons, you're getting a lighter leash, a normal t-shirt, a stealth backpack, no, yeah, Stealth Backpack and the Marijuana is Safer book by Paul Armentano, as well as any extra miscellaneous stuff that's gotten slipped into the prize packs when I wasn't looking. So we have a winner? We do have our winner. Our winner is Ryan B. Ryan B, you are the winner. We will uh, send the text message out to you. The ticket number 287897 is the winner. All right, so we will get that out. We will also get you. Uh... My name's Sarah. I think I won something. I got a text message. Oh, you sure <laughs> did. Yes, you did, Sarah. We have one of our winners. I got. I'm going to turn the cam here to you, Sarah, so that you can say hi to the, the audience out there. We're on cam right here. Oh, my God. Look say how happy. Hi. Yeah, yes! Live online, say hi, wait. <laughs> <laughs> She's the most awesome All right, so Sarah, uh, you are the winner. I'm trying to see what, what prize you won real quick. She has a bud package. She won bud the bud package. package, so give her the bud package. So uh, 
Oh, turn this toward you. Have it. And exactly what do I do here? Uh, you just say hi to everybody. Hello to everybody. How are you? <laughs> I'm very high. <laughs> I'll bet you are. Is this your first uh, first time at it the It sure uh, is. It's my cup? first time anywhere. Oh, really? This is your first yeah. cup of any this kind? This is my first marijuana event of any sort oh. in public whatsoever. <laughs> In my life, and um, it's just changed my life, actually. Oh, well, let's give her the pack there. You can show <laughs> prizes in there and the backpack. Now, that backpack. I win, I win the medicine that just changed my life. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Sarah. Let's see if I can get everything. I can't believe I won something. That's awesome. <laughs> Well, she's, she's certainly excited. That's great. We're at Normal Show Live, making people happy Man, over here. Changing people's lives. Changing people's lives. You heard it here. <laughs> live. That's great. All right. So we're going to get a, another Twitter raffle out here in just a second. I'm going to put you back into the, the inside room uh, where they're do, currently doing the panels. I think that's still going on. So we will uh, uh, get that to you. Thanks for joining us here on our Normal Show Live coverage of High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2000. Hi, I'm Radical Russ. One of the best things about marijuana is the wonderful aroma. But when you travel a lot like I do, that aroma becomes a suspicious smell. That's why I endorse Stealth-Products.com, the leaders in smell-proof containers. From smell-proof vacuum bags to smell-proof backpacks and duffel bags, all the way to smell-proof digital safes, Stealth-Products.com has you covered. Stealth-Products.com brings you safe, secure, odorless layers of protection with activated carbon fiber. Backpacks and duffel bags are simple black so as not to attract attention with a logo or a flashy design. Now, nothing is perfectly odor controlled from the detection of drug dogs, but with proper vigilance, containers from Stealth-Products.com will help you avoid nosy humans. You're now listening to Beats. Stealth-Products.com. Stealth-Products.com. So we're, yep. So we're here with uh, Coral Reefer. Give, give them your uh, website address. So CoralReefer420.com is my blog, and there's also NewsNug.com. Right. News about cannabis and what's current. And that's that's something I wanted to talk about too, because uh, you're taking this from uh, you know, getting a lot of hits for you know here we are we're getting on cam we're smoking weed, yeah. but now getting into the education, the news, yeah. you know, making it uh, making it. Valuable for it's kind of what I talked about with my friends. You know, we'd be smoking, and we'd be like, "Well, why is this illegal? Like, this is fun. We're hanging out. It makes me feel better. Like, I feel like I'm doing better in life. I'm getting better grades. Like, my parents are cool with it, so I want more knowledge. I want to know what's going on with why it's illegal. Yeah. You know, and you start looking into it. You start reading the books, and you start seeing the studies that have been done but weren't published, and it gets frustrating. So you want to tell everyone else. Was your first uh, foray into the into the books and all this stuff? Was it uh, Jack's book? Was it Emperor? It wasn't my book. Was the it? first book I picked up was so silly. It was the Cannabis Connoisseur, I believe, really, uh -huh. and it was at like Urban Outfitters. See. Just started toking and it was really colorful. Went for it. Had some recipes from Santa Cruz, my hometown, so I was I was hooked. All right. <laughs> well, we've got our uh, 420 somewhere raffle coming up here in just 45 seconds. We're doing a raffle at 420 in every time zone in America. I love it. So it's hitting 420 in the Central Time Zone. Do you got any followers? Anyone you get a shout out to in the Central Time Zone? Everyone in Texas, I think, That's right? Texas yeah, I love the Texas tweets. All the tweets on Texas. So many Mr. and Mrs. Rips. And fly for twenty. Oh my gosh, everyone! <laughs> All right. Well, let me get the uh, let me get the raffles over here. Yeah, yeah. awesome. I'm an expert raffle, raffle ticket drawer. We yes, did this in Hempfest. That's right, we did this in Hempfest. Yeah. Uh, no, no, the drawing, the drawing, the drawing. Trying to communicate here across the noisy room, and this is the way it so nice. goes. So here we go. We got all these tickets here that are available. Uh, okay. Show up there. Okay. Tickets. Every fourth one. Shake them up. And the lovely Lady Gaga her. shakes when she shakes raffle okay. tickets. Going so. to pick her. Pick the raffle ticket. And just read the number off the front of that. The whole uh, the, back, the, back, the other side, the ticket number. Not, okay, the no, ticket. not the guy's phone number. Okay, I was just wondering. We didn't call. Don't look okay. it in half. It is 287858. 287858. I like that. Is our winner. And, and here, check out what they win. 
They get a Rick Steves hemp backpack. They get oh, a normal show live t-shirt. They get a gold leaf pin. They get six normal buttons. That hemp's gonna last forever. Uh, they get a normal <laughs> sticker and a lighter leash, plus mystery gifts as we've been collecting. Because we've got all these vendors and they say, oh, here, give this away. So that's the best. Thank you for picking it out. Yeah, congratulations. Can I say the person's name? Uh, if it is. Yeah, go ahead. Mindy. Congratulations, Mindy. All right, now we're also gonna do this because we're doing a Twitter uh, giveaway as well. Because you know, Ooh, some people, Twitter. some people aren't as blessed as we are, and they don't get a chance to come out to these things. Oh my gosh, so and, many and people wish they were here. Yeah, That's why we're taking pictures. And there's <laughs> and there's some place where life really sucks. So uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can get them a tweet out. First of all, I'll give a, a shout out to NorCal Perps, who is a winner of our 420 East. Congratulations, NorCal Perps. He's a winner of our of our uh, 420 nice. East. I know. And so now, our, for our next one. The next person who retweets, uh, we're going to, what's your uh, Twitter handle? At Coral Reef 420. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put together a tweet that requires at Coral Reef 420 in it and the 420 Central tag. And whoever retweets that first will be the winner of our internet route. Okay? Yeah. All right, sounds good. So, uh, any plan, what do you, whether just hanging out here for the High Times Cup, doing any Yeah, I had my fingers crossed that I'd make it down here. I've seen a lot of good friends. We're going to maybe hit at Venice Beach. Want to yeah, yeah. smoke for sunset, see how that is. Perfect. And, and are you doing any vlogging here, uh, video? As much as I can, but i got to say I'm really enjoying it more than I'm doing the vlogging. <laughs> but I'm doing a lot of pictures, and I've got Coral Reefer 420, like, getting picture updates as much as possible. All right. Well, I'll let you yeah. get down to that. i got to get the, the, the tweets uh, sent out and everything. Thank yeah, you for being our raffle you. girl. It was great and, uh, to see you again. Oh, nice to see you. We'll see yeah. you again next time. Awesome. Coral Reefer 420, check it out on YouTube, the News Nugs, all that good stuff. And, of course, at an event near you. She's friendly. Say hi to her. She'll say hi back. All right, our winner, our ticket winner, 287-858, Mindy S. We're going to uh, text you out and let you know that you're the winner. And uh, let me get that tweet out, and I'll return you to audio from the panels inside. You're listening to Normal Show Live's coverage of the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. Well, I, I don't have a lot to say about this, except that, you know, the Prohibition in marijuana has been underway for 100 years. It's 100 years. I can't believe that. Started in Massachusetts, and we've been fighting it ever since. And uh, I heard somebody speak the other day from our campaign, the Repeal Cannabis Prohibition Act campaign, Pebbles Trip It, about the marijuana wars. And that's how I'm starting to think about it now. And I want to start using that vocabulary. You know, it's, we've been fighting a marijuana war for 100 years. Well, it's a ridiculous 100-year war that the government's been waging on their own people. You know, we're the troops. Are we ready to end a 100-year war? I don't feel like we're quite ready. We're at war, and, we, and I feel like we're not prepared. And I think that, uh, that what we see now, you know, we talked about it. Canada Business got a little bit out there. We're dealing with this backla backlash. Uh, you know, it just becomes clear how unprepared we are. And it's almost like now, instead of um, coming together, and preparing and getting a game plan and developing a war chest that people have hunkered down in their own bunkers in their basements, that's not going to work. That's not how you fight a hundred year war when the government goes to war against their own people. It's by coming together. It's by developing a war chest. It's by coming up with a plan, a strategic plan. And uh, what I was talking about again on the airplane with my friend, the green lady, you know, the people that succeed, the pharmaceutical company and the oil company and um, what's the third one? <laughs> uh, there's an, uh, <laughs> what is it? Insurance. insurance companies. It's because they lobby millions and millions and billions of dollars are spent on Capitol Hill. Billions of dollars are spent on politics. Their war chest is billions of dollars. You know what? We don't have a war chest. We don't have a war chest. Okay, I'm not kidding. There's no chest. So what we really need to do is focus on our war chest, on our strategic plan. We need to get together and pull our money so that we can get billions of dollars together, so that we can lobby Congress, so that we can make a change. Because imagine it cost us $200,000 to make a change in San Jose. How much is it going to cost us to make a change in Congress? It's going to be a lot more than $200,000. And I'll tell you what, we worked so hard hard to get that money together incredibly hard we did everything back i'm sub cool from team green avenger at tgagenetics.com we are working on the leading edge of medical strains our strains are rigorously tested for thc cbd thcv and other critical cannabinoids 
Know your grow. Check out our genetic diversity at TGAgenetics.com. The home of Jelly Bean, Jack the Ripper, Vortex, and other award-winning cannabis strains. Welcome back. Radical Russ here at the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2012 in Los Angeles. We had to go get the hoodie on. Normal show live hoodie. It's cold here in L.A., people. 62 degrees, but we're in the shade and there's wind, so it feels like 57. <laughs> Welcome back. Glad to have you here. we got a couple guests joining us I here. Uh, Dino. i got to look at here. Eric and Dino. I have so many people coming by, so I apologize. I, I, you know, the pothead can't remember names. Okay, <laughs> Not a problem. Okay. So we got these guys that come in to, to talk to us about what they're doing with, I believe it was organics, right? Absolutely. We have a uh, nutrient line, all organic uh, nutrients to go ahead and feed your plants, wipe out the bugs, and uh, make your stuff grow bigger than anything else that's out there. All right. So what's it called? What's the brand? Uh, it's Amol Gold Nutrients. The uh, nutrient for the plant uh, wet product is called Amol Gold Super uh, Organic Superfood. Organic superfood. And then we also have a dry product, and then we have the bug killer. It's called Gurkha, and it just wipes everything out that you don't want crawling around on your on your plants. Right on. Okay, so are you boothing here at the uh, cup? How you doing? No, we didn't booth this year. Oh yeah, just what? Just just uh, chilling and uh, enjoying the the scenes. Yes, definitely enjoying making some relationships, seeing everybody and checking out all the crowds. Right on. So how long uh, have you been in business and, and doing what you're doing? We've actually been in the ag business for almost a decade. There's a five back to you. Right on. Yeah. And, and uh, so coming out here to the, the, the cup, what would you like people to know about why they should use, you know, go with the organics rather than, you know, other methods they might try? Well, you got to think about it this way. If you're smoking it and it's going inside of you, do you really want to be smoking stuff that's poison? It's up to you, you know. The guys that are grading the majority of the products that are going to uh, the dispensaries, they're finding that, what, 95% of it has got uh, the synthetic weed killer or bug killer on it. 95%, wow. Yeah, the growers out there, they're they're just, they use what they use. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to go ahead and pre pre present an alternative that is going to be able to go ahead and get uh, some, some modicum of, uh, I guess, uh, if it's medicinal, let's talk medicine, right? Right. Let's not talk about stuff that their chemical companies are put are selling you to put on your plants that is going to make you grow something out of your head or the back of your <laughs> neck or something, you know? Yeah. You know, when you're 60 or 70 years old, you want to have a brain, not something that's been uh, adulterated with, with the synthetic chemicals that are out there. Right on, right on. Well, you know, I, I always support that organic growing, and you know, uh, we always say know your grow. Yes, right, definitely. know your grow, know where it's coming from, definitely. know who's growing it, know how it's being grown, know what's going into it, uh, because you know it is something that you're taking in uh, to your body, you're inhaling. You know, don't take any risks with your health like that. In fact, part of the reason why we're switching to the marijuana is for our health. So you know, absolutely. Uh, if you don't like the chemicals that the chemical companies are putting in their compounds to go ahead and hand out to you, and you want to go the organic way or the natural way, you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that your grower isn't putting something dodgy in there too. You yeah. know. All right, so Eric and Dino, as far as uh, getting in touch with you guys, your products, you guys have a, a website, Facebook, any information they need to know? AmolGoldNutrients.com. Can you spell that for them? A-M-A-L-Nutrients.com. AmolGoldNutrients. AmolGoldNutrients.com. Okay, so like uh, like amalgamated, A-M-A-L. Yeah, gold. Exactly right. Got it. All right. So uh, check that out, amolgoldnutrients.com. And Eric and Dino, thanks for joining us here and uh, have yourself a fun cup. Right on. Thank you very much. All right. Take it easy. Thanks for coming Thank on you, here. Thank you, Russ. And just a plug we actually, the website is just almost finished. So give it about a week and, and we'll have it up. All right. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Appreciate it. The law offices of Omar Figueroa would like to remind you to stand up for your rights. Please do not give up your precious liberties. There's nothing wrong with standing up for our constitutional rights, and in fact, it's the only way to honor the Constitution that recognizes our natural rights. Treat law enforcement with respect and respect the Constitution by standing up for your rights. If you are detained or arrested, stand up for your rights by repeating, I respectfully invoke all my legal and constitutional rights. I do not consent to any search and seizure. I want to remain silent, and I want to speak to my attorney, Omar Figueroa. Omar Figueroa has more than a decade of experience in federal and California courts and graduated from Yale University, Stanford Law School, and Trial Lawyers College. 
please contact the law offices of Omar Figueroa at 415-489-0420 or 707-829-0215 or on the web at www.omarfigueroa.com. Speaking of, I'm Radical Russ here at uh, the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup in Los Angeles, and my friend Melissa stopped by. Melissa Ballin, how are you, darling? Well, hemp, hemp hooray. Oh, sorry there. Last person, last person was a quiet talker. Hemp, hemp, hooray. Mic check, mic check. <laughs> this is a much better way to mic check. Is Usually we're like, mic check. You know, when I do but my... with Radical Russ, we're when like, When I do my mic checks anymore, check. I do, the, uh, I do the, uh, the preamble of the Declaration of Independence as a mic check. You should Did see you somebody. know that those the first two drafts were written on hemp? Really? Yes, you know, and all your listeners know, because we get our hemp facts from Jack Herer and Radical Russ, basically. Yeah. So if you don't know, now you know. Wiz Khalifa is here. Wiz, Wiz well, my uh, intern is Wiz Calico. Where'd he go? Oh, he's not here. Is Wiz Calico. But Wiz, yeah, there he goes. The you know what? We're at the first High Times Medical Cannabis Cup in Los Angeles paying tribute to Jack Herer. And we're getting so medicated and having such a high time that we wouldn't know if Wiz Khalifa was or was <laughs> not in the building. And I can tell you, though, that there are all kinds of talented, creative people, oh, yeah. medical patients here right now, a lot of weed liberties for Sheezy. And I was supposed to be in Berlin showing Jack Harris Emperor Wears No Clothes, but I said, you know, when all these things got crazy, I stayed at Sundance longer. I have to be in court, occupying the courts because right. of my recent arrest um, with the occupation. So I'm not in Berlin, but I could get so high with my friends that I could pretend I'm in Berlin. So, hemp, hemp, hooray, but V. Gates to the Humph Museum and everybody. You know, v. Gates. And we have international friends from all around the world that are here. Yeah, I've got a couple of uh, contacts in Germany that are wanting to start some German normal chapters, so we get the word out. Oh, yeah, big up to Berlin because we have a lot of friends and family in Berlin, the Humph Museum, the Humph Journal. Um, but we're here in L.A., my home city, my I home know, it's nice to be here. town, and I'm back. It was so cold at Sundance, and we're just having all kinds of wonderful delights, right? Are you yeah, yeah. having a high time? Oh, yeah. I, I, a lot of the, you know, the, the big thing that's taken off recently has been all the dabs, the waxes, the oils. And, uh, you know, when you're a weed liberty, uh, not to toot my own horn, just a little, but when you're a weed liberty, people want to bring this stuff to you and they want you to try it. They want you the to, oh, I, I, I want you to try my stuff, right? And <laughs> And they don't. Like, give you the little, you know, tiny little dab. They give you the no. Weed Liberty version. This is a, a freaking, you know, Sahara Desert booger kind of dab. <laughs> like, well, come on now. We don't need that much here. <laughs> Speaking of which, thanks for putting me on deck, but really I'm just the messenger I was sent to come get you that you're wanted over by Pony Boy oh, okay. and 420 FL All right. and the Dabinators. All they right, are wait. dabbing it up. They want to medicate, medicate, medicate you. But I wanted Let's the opportunity it. to get the message out. They're also collecting signatures for the Jack Herer Initiative. And for your listeners that are not in California, they can initiate the Jack Herer Initiative in their own state. In if their you own live in city. one of the 26 that have the initiative system. Or here's the new scoop. Are oh, you ready? Okay. Breaking Are you news. ready? Breaking news. We're coming to you. We're even, you know, because apparently if I take this guy more than three feet, it's legally kidnapping. Oh, my. So I'm going to have to get a trip slip signed oh, by my. your friends and family. But we want to take Russ Belleville and all of you on the Prohibition Tour I'm because in it. it's your natural right to self-medicate and we're going to bring we liberties have fun facts from russ radical who shouldn't be radical by the time we're done with the plural vision tour exactly. he should just be one of the guys it saying regular stuff just yeah. regular russ i doubt it i doubt <laughs> it ha -ha. <laughs> but we're going to go on the prohibition tour we need 34 states to hold a constitutional convention to amend the constitution right. So the Jack Herer Initiative is how you can act locally, but we're also going to act globally. We have supporters in the Virgin Islands. Big up, big up, big up. We have supporters in Berlin, in Amsterdam, and we're missing, you know who we're really missing while we're here is the greenhouse because it seems like everybody else is here. 
I know that DNA genetics isn't in the house, but their genetics is in the house. Yes, We've been is. smoking it's LA smelly. Confidential, even I don't think it's entered in the cup. It's just everywhere. I don't think it's but, confidential anymore. I think everyone knows about right, it. Right, but big up to the <laughs> Greenhouse Franco and Arian, our strain hunters. We haven't seen them since the last THC right. expose. I think they're off in some strange land, but they should be here settling the purple debate and in search of the greatest perp strain. But we'll find out more about Quest that. Quest for perps. Well, all right, I guess we have to go over to the, the 420 thing and go say hi and hang do out with Do some dabs. Boy. We're gonna do some dabs, but definitely you can get activated. We're collecting signatures, and we appreciate all the collectives, the dispensaries, the points of contact. We'll be at Champs. Are you going to Champs? Uh, when is this? Champs is February 21st through the 23rd in Las Vegas. I don't think so. And it's all the businesses, the smoke shops everywhere, the places that carry B-O-N-G's. In some states, you can't call it that. It's a That's water right. pipe. Um, and they'll be carrying Jack Harris Emperor Wears No Clothes because part of the Prohibition Tour is going to be to host viewing parties in your home, in your dispensaries, in your collectives, in your basements, in your right. PTA meetings, and get people to sign the petitions, watch the movie, activate, and let them know that what hemp can save the world. Yay. All right. Well, I'm Radical Russ with Melissa Ballin. Hemp can save the world. Emperor wears no clothes, et cetera. Hemp can save the planet. Planet. Hemp world. can save the planet. planet. Right, but if you're online, like hemp can save everything, but if you're online and you want to find the blog, it's hemp can save the planet. Gotcha. All, right. All right, folks, uh, we'll be back here with more coverage of the High Times Medical Cannabis in Los Angeles after I return from Pony Boy's Place. Dennis Perone is here and oh. um, Richard Eastman, too. We're going to go see they're signing some petition for the Democratic National Convention because we can't ever stop because nobody should be in prison for pot. That's right. All right, stick around. More coverage when we come. Hey, Tokers and Tokettes, this is Radical Russ from Normal Show Live. We're proud to be the voice of the marijuana nation and proud to have you on our team. Now, you can represent NSL in your own Normal Show Live gear from handmadeapparel.biz. Adam Hand of Handmade Apparel is one of us and a huge supporter of our show. He's designed the classic blockhead line of NSL shirts, hoodies, hats, and more. Worn by Radical Russ, Cannabis Carry, and Ganja John on the show and at live events, the designs feature their iconic logos and the It's Got to Be 420 Somewhere in the World tagline. Proceeds directly benefit Normal Show Live and HandmadeApparel.biz, one of our community's strongest supporters. You can also get your Cannabis Cure UK, Ganja John Show, Irie Island Hour, and more gear from the Normal Network at HandmadeApparel.biz. Visit handmadeapparel.biz today. All right, so joining me here at the uh, High Times Medical Cannabis Cup Los Angeles, we have our guest, Patty Cakes, from the uh, Hemp Radio Program. Welcome to the show. And uh, you have to introduce our other guest because I don't know the name. Hi, Patty. Hey, what's happening, Russ? So, and your, and your friend here? This is Dank Diva. Hi, everyone. We have a Dank Diva and a Patty Cakes. Yes. Oh, I've never, I've never been so blessed in my life. So you fine ladies are working with uh, HempRadio.com, so tell folks about that. HempRadio.com, we tape on every Thursday in Huntington Beach, and we basically, we get together, we get high, have a feast, have some dinner, and we get on our show, and we kind of vent on, you know, the local issues and, yeah. you know, the nation, you know, the national issues, you know, with normal and basically our fight to legalize. So now, it's a really guys, fun show. I know you guys, uh, it's, so it's you two and then Candace from Orange Candace Haas, who's the director of Orange County Normal, and I'm also the public relations director for Normal. And also we're with the Orange County Normal Women's Alliance. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, and that's new, and we Trip Threat. Oh my God, we are hot and dangerous. Oh, absolutely. And very dank. And folks, check out normal.org slash women if you want more information on the Women's Alliance. I love your hat. Show people, this is the camera right here. Oh, yes. You're here's the 420 Mad Hatter. Oh, well, I, I love just, it. I couldn't fit it on with my headphones, but here's my little hat. Little 420, <laughs> I'm muffling the mic. Sorry. Did you make that? Um, actually, it was from a Mad Hatter costume, and I just added a leaf. It actually says 42069, but I wasn't trying to give everybody the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I don't like that, but... Well, in 1969, honey, you weren't even born yet, I don't think. I Not don't quite. I think we were talking about the year. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I know, Russ, okay? <laughs> Hello? Just for our, our, less, uh, our less astute listeners out there. So, uh, Hemp Radio's on, and, and we, it's also on the normal network. We're uh, replaying it on Friday nights, so people are listening to you guys every Friday night as well. That's great. We love that. A lot of people have been giving us feedback on it, and they like hearing it right after your show. Oh, so. good, good. It's well, perfect. So, so in doing this show and, and you know, being down here in Southern California, the epicenter of what's going on here with medical cannabis, uh, is that what got you into doing the radio show, being patients or caregivers or growers in some way? Um, basically starting out being patients, and then I went from a patient to being an activist and just started getting you know more involved with you know patient rights, but not only patient rights, but rights for you know people who also want to medicate you know for recreational use. You know, it's still safer than alcohol, so right. that's one of my big, you know, one of my big passions. I'm a, definitely a victim of drunk driving, so well, uh, how did that how did that affect you? Um, it definitely had a negative effect. Um, it was my mother actually, and she had got. She quite was a, a drunk driver. Yeah, she was. Were she you was, in the car? I was not in the car, thankfully, but I know just from memory that I was in the car with her. You know, a few, quite a few times with her being under the influence of alcohol, and that. Oh my God! How horrible! And, you know, and she was driving back from the store and was drunk and oh, she no. got into an accident and two people died from that and oh my god and she, you know she's never been she did 5 years in you know state prison and you know she wow. did serve her time in her debt to society but you know when you really think about those two families i'm sure you know just devastated my mom's never been able to forgive herself she's not the same person what do you what do you think about you know cuz one of the things that happens as we start discussing uh, re-legalization in these states is they all say, oh, we got to worry about the stone drivers. What about the stone drivers? Oh, listen, they did a survey, and people that smoke pot drive slower, and there's never been any recorded accidents strictly from uh, use of cannabis. Yeah, yeah. but I, I, I would have to say I definitely am an advocate of being safe on the road, and I, I think it, Wait, it don't can drive. be... I think it can be a hindrance. I think it's, you know, safer for you to medicate, you know, before you go to your destination or after you get there, or both if needed. But while you're driving, I mean, you really need, it's just like talking on the cell phone and driving. Yeah. So oh, you wouldn't have a beer and drive your car for God's sake. Exactly. So I mean, I think if we really want to get legalization across to the naysayers, we need to have the same respect, and we need to not smoke and drive. Yeah. That's just that's my opinion. But and you know, normal people like us, that's how we do but it. But I, I would have to say that instead of running red lights. Um, <laughs> Or stop signs, we stop and wait for the stop sign to turn green. So that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's. Yeah. Uh, we're speaking with Patty Cakes and Dank Diva from hempradio.com. And uh, Patty Cakes, I'll throw the same question out to you. What got you into doing hemp radio and being an activist? I've been an activist uh, since college, and that's been a long time ago. And uh, I did a show called Renegade Talk.fm. That's what started me. I did uh, with Richie Rich and. Um, I did Cannabis Thursday, and they left and went to Hawaii, so it was like, oh my God, I'm on my own now. So Candace was doing the show with me on Renegade. Okay. We took the show and created our own show and uh, Hemp Radio, All right. and uh, we found fabulous people to work okay, with us, and now we have a great team. welcome you, uh, oh, first of on. all, to the first down. annual Los Angeles Medical Cannabis. That's inside. That's the uh, panels here. inside they're getting started with, so I... Uh, Are they going to... Oh, no, we're fine. We're, we're Are good. they judging right the pot now? No, no. This is the, uh, I believe, the uh, uh, lawyer's panel where they're discussing, you know, the different laws. And yeah, Candace is going to be a speaker in one of the panels. I'm not sure which one. It might be tomorrow at It's tomorrow. Candace so. is tomorrow. Yeah, because right. I think I'm on the panel with her. Oh, right on. <laughs> so it'll be a good right panel. On. Okay, so let me ask you this, Russ. Sure. I mean, you're going to be on a panel for what? That's the activism panel. Okay, and uh, how long have you been an activist? Uh, I volunteered at first with Normal in 2005, so I'm really new to this. Uh, I started in 05. Uh, you're six a years. baby. I've yeah. been fighting this war for, I'm going to say 30 years. It sounds good. <laughs> okay, 30 sounds good. But uh, yeah, I got just. And I started baking. And uh, my patients were all people that had cancer, yeah. MS. And it, it was it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life when I get a phone call from somebody that says, oh my God, you saved my life. I got through chemo for the first time. Wow. And that's what got me going and then the radio show and 
you know, it's, it, I'm very involved with Normal, the Normal Woman's Alliance, the Human Solution. It's a great group of people, and it's just, uh, we're going to do it. And I believe the women are going to take us there. Yeah, it's what happened with uh, alcohol prohibition. Exactly. So history is definitely going to repeat itself, and it's going to start right here in Orange County on HempRadio.com. So everybody listen to us, and, and we as women, oh, we're going to let some men in, aren't we? Or are we? Well, you know, we need everyone's help. And basically what activism is is just, act, you know, activating yourself and others, you know, for a positive, you know, end result. Yes. And that's exactly what would happen if we were to legalize cannabis. You know, it's safer than alcohol, it's safer than prescription drugs, you know, and it, it's just common sense. You know, there's still zero, zero, zero deaths. deaths. That's, and that's all I can say. When people, when, you know what, when people ask us, the, uh, the most you can say, I mean, you, there's nothing to say but zero deaths. Right. You die on aspirin. I mean, you can die on peanuts. Zero death with marijuana, cannabis, weed, pot, whatever you want to call it. It's a weed. Right on. Now, uh, Orange County Normal, you're active with Orange County Normal. Check them out at orangecountynormal.org. Uh, 420 is coming up in a couple months. Any big plans for 420? Oh, of course. Well, you know what? Every day is 420 for us. <laughs> That's you true. know, I mean, we're a we're pretty uh, close-knit group of people. We do a yeah. show together every week. We're very involved in all the organizations, and it's our extended family. Yeah, we all we usually have an event for Orange County Normal every 420. So we'll be having some details on that soon. We'll be, we'll be in the in the planning works right now. So we'd like to have fun. Oh yeah. Sometimes and, we have carnival. And we're safe. I know you do that big uh, surf open protest. Is that yeah. still happening? Yeah, we do um, protests in wait the a minute, summer. Wait a minute. Let's straighten this out. We're not protesting the surf because we love those young bodies. Yes, we do. But <laughs> that's where we do our information and education there we go. of our animals. rallies we call them our beach rallies that's a better word yeah right. so we're, we're there once a month you know every summer and um, sometimes we get two saturdays in but it's really a lot of fun we bring extra signs and people come and hold the signs we, we have do, grandmothers we do the airbrush tattoos and yeah exactly you know your grandma your grandpa your aunt your uncle you your know mother, your, your adult mother. children you know sure. everybody does it baby it's a medicine it's right. a, they've been doing it for uh, over ten thousand years Hello. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. It's God's gift. So. Well, let's get the uh, card here. Patty Cakes and Dank Diva from HempRadio.com. Right there. HempRadio.com. Look how cute that is. Are we supposed to be like looking into this camera and yeah, talking? See, there you are right there. Oh my there God, we are I right love there. it. You're live on the internet. Fabulous. How do we look? I can't see with these glasses on. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. Fabulous. Oh, you're going to have to come Fantastic. on our show. That's all the right words. Anytime. Anytime. So, Dank Diva and Patty Cakes, thanks for joining us here. Check out hempradio.com. Uh, you're replayed on the normal network Fridays at 6. What time are you on live? Or we are on live um, Thursdays at 6. Thursdays at 6. Okay. Thursdays so, at six. no, we're not live. We, we, you post it. Well, we, we post, post it, it yeah, we, around 8 o'clock. Wow. <laughs> so, catch it at hempradio.com and then catch the replay right here at the normal network. Thanks, ladies, for stopping in. Thank, Thank you. you, Russ. All right. We're going to get you back to the inside panels there for the uh, High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. So about here's your audio. About Check out the entire smoke. video. If you want to catch just the video of these panels, the they are available at the Radical first, Russ channel. So just go to Ustream.tv slash channel slash Radical Russ. We're also recording them there. So you will be able to get them uh, on demand later. So check that out. Go back to the audio. And thanks again. We'll see you. I wanted to stop, but I can't because... I like the people, so uh, that's it. Um, hi, I'm Alan Frankel. I'm an in internist. I've worked in the uh, West Los Angeles area doing more uh, standard internal medicine for tw 25 years, tired of the necessity of prescribing addicting benzodiazepines and pain meds and a num number of other psychotropic meds, and left. Um, never smoked cannabis at that point, but had been involved in medical cannabis for glaucoma, UCLA, for giving, you know, handing out joints uh, that were available by the bag full to cancer patients. And I just kept running into from a medical perspective. And when I started doing it full time, I moved to Venice just to all get into the culture of it. And that was successful, and I really 
Welcome back to the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup here in Los Angeles. I'm Radical Russ, and we are we are so happy to have Michael back with us. We interviewed Michael yesterday. And he's working uh, promoting the election of Ron Paul for president. He came on to do the interview yesterday, and being on wireless like we are, uh, we lost the signal. And uh, we were recording the interview, wanted to make sure we had the video, and we lost the signal. I didn't want that to happen, so. He was so gracious to come back here again and do another interview. So thanks for being here. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for uh, having me back for us. Okay, so let me get this up close to you because with the no background noise, you have a little problem there. All right. There we go. But uh, all right, so what? give us the name of your organization again. Uh, and, and you had the card. It was a Blue Republican card that we had talked to see. Yeah, uh, you know, we're working uh, with an organization called uh, bluerepublican.org. Uh, you know, it's for a lot of people who uh, might be a little... Uh, you know, hesitant about signing up to uh, vote as a Republican in uh, certain states like California, which is a closed primary process. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to vote for Ron Paul for the primary, you have to register as a Republican. And uh, I can tell you, like uh, many other people, you know, I'm a registered, I was registered independent. Uh, as soon as the primary is open or over, I'm going to go back to being an independent. So it's just to, just to get Ron Paul. So it's a procedural move because in a lot of these states, uh, you have to be Republican to vote in a Republican primary. Let's... Uh, switch re registration to Republican, vote for Ron Paul to send the message that the drug war needs to end because he's strong on that message, right? He's always been a supporter of normal. Uh, and, and then, so let's say this turns out the way you want it and he actually gets the nomination. Is the idea then to go forward with uh, support of Ron Paul in the general? Is it, it's not just a primary uh, thing, it's also for the general? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so there's a lot of voters out there who would, you know, you say blue Republican and, and they may have been uh, Obama supporters in 2008, and, and fair disclosure, I was. I campaigned for Obama. I did a lot of speaking games and such. Uh, that might be hesitant to want to join this idea, even as strongly as they hate the drug war, and maybe even they like some of uh, Ron Paul's other policies, say the, the wars, you know, foreign policy wise, you know, get out of Afghanistan, Iraq, Absolutely. whatever. Uh, they might agree on some other issues as well, but they would also then they would point to, oh, but Ron Paul on X, Y, or Z issue, you know, abortion or states' rights or however they want to phrase it, is, is bad on this issue, and that turns me off from voting. How do you convince them that that shouldn't be a, there shouldn't be a litmus test, it shouldn't be the, the, the sole qualification that they should throw their support behind Ron Paul? You know, uh, one of the big things that we've seen in uh, a pattern of politicians over the you know past uh, 16 years or so, and uh, you know, with one of the candidates who's currently uh, running for office, um, they're being uh, supported by a lot of big bankers, oh, yeah. a lot of big backers. So it's like you know, is the power of the people with us, or you know, is the power in uh, corporate bankers are kind of controlling everything? So you know, one of the things I do like to say, and it's something I'm very proud of. Otherwise, I would. Alternative Medical Choices offers healthcare the way it should be. Easy to access, patient-centered, team-based, and quality-focused. We offer a variety of natural, affordable healthcare treatment options like primary care, group acupuncture, massage, and assistance with OMP registration. As a patient, you will have a team of experts working with you to make you the best you can be. Call Alternative Medical Choices at 503-288-5579 or check us out on the web at altmedchoices.com. It's crazy. Yeah, we're here at the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2012. Uh, Coleco just letting us know that Whitney Houston has passed away. And uh, we're still winding up here at the Medical Cannabis Cup. So uh, plenty of stuff going on. I was just over at Pony Boy's booth Los and got to, got to hang out with uh, Ken Estes. Oh, cool. So uh, we're going to have Ken Estes on the show very soon. Excellent. He's got some new developments in his case that uh, he wants to talk about. Uh, Melissa Ballin uh, took me over there, hung out with Pony Boy. We talked a little bit, but uh, the big the big news is that over at Pony Boy's booth, they uh, they insisted that I do a dab. Uh oh. You know, a dangerous dab. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. And uh, they, and, and um, this was um, this was a phenomenal dab. Let's just say that. So, welcome to the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. The quality of the editing may suffer somewhat from this point on, but it is after five. <laughs> That's it true. Is, by God, it's after five. So that means the drinkers are out. The drinkers are out, so be careful. 100%. So uh, the other thing is this time delay thing and having to meet people uh, meant, ooh, means that I missed the uh, 520 raffle, our Alaska time zone raffle. So to our Alaska listeners uh, in that eastern Alaska time zone, I apologize for not making your 420. 
but uh, I was kind of having my 420 a little late. So uh, we are getting ready for the raffle. Uh, Kalik was talking to some people, so we, I, I'll just do it. This is this is still random, so I will choose who is going to win the raffle. Now the raffle prize here, we are raffling off the Dank prize package. The Dank prize package. Now the Dank prize package includes a lighter leash, a normal gold leaf pin, a normal sticker, six normal buttons, which include the new normal show live buttons, uh, and uh, let's see, we also get a normal t-shirt, a stealth backpack, uh, and a medical marijuana in California book, all the laws, all the, new, the newest compendium, the laws and the court decisions with regard to medical marijuana law in California. And a normal nug jar. These are the normal nug jars. They're very, very cool. Normal nug jars. Sorry about that, Kalika. No, it's all good. They're going very quickly, I was going to say. The nug jars? Yeah, I've sold at least uh, three of them today. Oh, so. fantastic. All right, so. Yeah, I know there have been more, plenty more. We have the winner who gets that and whatever else ma managed to make it into those prize packages, if anything at all. And the number is 287-875. And this is Sarah. And so we will be tweeting out to Sarah. We we have had a winner named Sarah. That could possibly be the same one. Could she because she bought multiple tickets? And it's her birthday. Oh my goodness, she might be having the best birthday era but ever. Happy birthday, Sarah. So we will uh, get that message out to you. And the Alaska Twitter winner will be coming up soon. So those of you following us at Normal Net, if you're not, sign on to Twitter, follow at Normal Net, and we will uh, be selecting a Twitter winner as we come back. To the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. For the stage, you want to use a high nitrogen nutrient, so that first number and the NPK number will be the highest one. Something like 10 to 2 would mean that there's a lot, 10 times more nitrogen and the 10 nitrogen. It's Wiz Coleco from the Ivy Island Hour, which comes to you live every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Pacific on the Normal Network. I just wanted to let you know that two of my favorite bands are teaming up to spread good vibes across the land and are headed to a venue near you. Revolution is heading out on the second leg of their tour in support of the release of their new triple album, Peace of Mind, which includes full-length acoustic and dub versions. They'll also be joined by our boys from the land of Aloha, The Green. You give me love and we're also promoting the recent release of their latest album, Ways and Means. You can check out a full list of shows, get the latest swag, and most importantly, find their music at revolutionmusic.com and thegreen808.com. Don't miss this amazing tour. I promise you, after these shows, you'll have peace of mind. Welcome back, everyone, to the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2012 in Los Angeles at the L.A. Center Studios, uh, February 11th, 2012. And we are hanging out here with Richard Davis and Sarah Newton, who are here with the California... <laughs> See, things blowing, blowing away here as we speak. But uh, I'll, I'll let you guys tell them about the initiative. You're working on an initiative here in California to legalize marijuana. That's right. We're working on the California Cannabis Hemp and Health Initiative. And it is an, an initiative in California to legalize hemp and cannabis. Um, and it would also release nonviolent marijuana felons from prison right now. That's a real good point, too, because, you know, we, we decriminalize in some states or we we'll legalize. We talk about that. And, and it, wouldn't it suck to be in jail, sitting there and realizing that everyone else is, that is out of jail isn't getting busted for what you're doing time for? So true, you know, not to mention that some people, maybe in your younger days, you're kind of dumb, you fuck up, you get a couple stupid sure. marks on you, and then your third strike happens to be something for cannabis. Yeah. Now you can be in prison for 30 years for cannabis. So yeah. this would kind of release you from that, unless you like killed people before or something. You if, you, if, you committed a, <laughs> if you committed a real crime, we yes. might keep you in jail. Yeah, but pretty much. For weed, we'll let you go. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna legalize, we're gonna release prisoners. Tell them more about it. Um, well, the hemp aspect is really important, and I'll let Richard touch up on this because he's like the Kemp, hemp king. Okay, Richard. Yeah, uh, Richard Davis here. Yeah, I'm the curator of the USA Hemp Museum. The hemp is worth billions of dollars to the state of California. This is this is a jobs program like none other, and.
Jack Hare, this is Jack Hare's initiative. He's, he's circulated it many times in the past. He never got on the ballot. This is the time, people. We need your help. We need your signature. And we need it now. The rest of the world's going to hemp, and we're getting way left behind. We, we got plastics coming out of Germany and fuel around the world made out of plants. How, how big of hemp, an industry is it in some of these other countries? I mean, how many jobs, how much money? Well, Canada's big. Yeah. Canada's selling us food. I eat Canadian hemp every day because <laughs> the American farmer can't grow it. Yeah. You know, that's where it is. So this is worth billions to the state of California. They they have on the on the ballot that it's worth hundreds of millions just to let people out of jail. Right. Well, it's hundreds of billions that we can make fuel and paper and fiber out of it for the state of California. Absolutely. I think uh, something else that's really important right now is um, with this whole explosion with Monsanto and yeah, the yes. food industry. Um, I think this hemp ties in because in Canada, all of their food products, they have hemp seed in it. Opposed to America, we have corn and soy fillers and these right. genetically modified, you know, horrible things that just bloat us and, you know, aren't good for us at all. Yeah, the, the, there's so much that can be done and it's not, yeah. I think of, when I think of the hemp issue, I don't even necessarily, I mean, I do think of, of course, the, he the health of our bodies, yeah. but the health of our planet. I mean, you know, yeah. just taking carbon dioxide out of the air, revitalizing the soil. There's, I mean, I'm sure Richard could tell us all of that stuff too. I mean, it's just so necessary for the survival of not just the humans, but the planet they live on. Absolutely. We have the answer to global warming with hemp, but we just, if we grew it all over the United States, carbon, plants pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. It's the answer to global warming. We don't need any clean coal or anything else. We can <laughs> fuel the United States on him. I'm sorry, I always laugh when I hear those two terms together, yeah. clean and coal. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Uh, all right, so Sarah, uh, the, the hemp initiative here, I always get, I, I never try to say it because I always get it backwards. California, Cannabis, cannabis, hemp, and health. Hemp initiative. and health. CCHHI. Uh, it's the health part that I always forget. Cannabis, health. hemp, and health. That's initiative. an important part. I know. It. Well, health may not be my strong suit. Uh, hey. <laughs> but but healthier than I would have been being the beer drinking uh, college kid I used to be. Yeah. Let's say, let's put that for sure. But uh, tell people how they can get involved as far as you know websites, contact numbers, email. Okay. Goes. Well, cchhi2012.org has all the information. It has my email on there. If you're in Southern California, you can contact me, and I'll set you up with a little starter kit to where you can start collecting signatures. Um, you know, you can donate money on the site. We need, you know, we need to be hiring professional signature collectors and and getting the funds to actually get this out there because it's grassroots. You know, we don't have millionaires backing us up. This is just you know, by the people, for the people. Yeah, and, and that's, it's it's disturbing to me too when I look at the, you know, since Prop 215 that all of the initiatives that, uh, you know, make the ballot with the exception of Prop 19, all of them are backed by like the same two or three billionaires. And there's so many of us out there and it would make such a statement for us to finally pass one of our bills, something that, you know, I'm gonna call myself a poor person, uh, would like to see passed rather than something a billionaire would like to see passed. Wouldn't you like that? Definitely, and I think that it's going to um, inspire the rest of the country to follow suit. So cchhi2012 dot org dot org cchhi 2012 org. Check that out. I did it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Uh, thank you, Sarah Newton and Richard Davis, for joining yeah, us here. And uh, we'll get this clip for you on YouTube and, and let everyone know what's going on. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much, <laughs> Richard. Pleasure. And I, and I have to assume all these fine clothes are hemp, right? Yeah. What a hemp jacket, yeah. hemp hat, ah, oh. and that's gonna last forever. Yeah. I bet those are Canadian companies he's making a, hemp hats. Yeah, he's a hemp pimp. Hemp pimp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Radical Russ here at the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2012. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll be back with uh, more coverage here uh, in just a little bit. Stay tuned.
his normal show live. The voice of the marijuana nation. You're listening to the Normal Network.